look at the homework from 34 to 43. These problems involve analyzing oil drops and projectile problems. Let's look up here at this oil drop. We have different regions A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. Now, the first question asks, during which intervals are there no forces acting on the object? No forces means that it's moving at constant velocity. And you remember on an oil drop problem, they're going to be constant velocity when the oil drops are evenly spaced. Now, which one of these are evenly spaced? Let's see. These look evenly spaced. These aren't. Mm, are these evenly spaced? Yep, they sure are. These are not. Now, E, they're all kind of just piled up there. F, mm, nope, this one's speeding up. G, it is constant. H, nope, and I, they're evenly spaced and they're very uh, close together. So, where are there no objects? Where is the velocity constant? That would be A, C, E, G, and I. During which time interval, if any, are the forces acting on the object balanced? Okay, this is the same thing. If the forces are balanced, there is no acceleration. So this answer has the exact same answer as the first one. A, C, E, G, I. Now, during which time intervals, if any, is there a net force acting on the object? Let's see. In B, it's speeding up, so that's definitely an acceleration. C is constant velocity. D is slowing down, so there has to be a net force. E is not moving, so there's no net force. F is speeding up, because they're getting further apart here. G, they're evenly spaced. H is slowing down. And I is evenly spaced. Constant velocity. During which time interval is the net force acted toward the right? Now, in order to be acting toward the right, what we need is an acceleration to the right. So we're going to look for the time interval where the spaces between the dots is largest to the right. We see that's true for B not for D, for F, the acceleration's to the right there, all right? So for this one, there are two answers, B and F. In both of these cases, the acceleration is this direction. During which interval is the net force acting to the left? Let's see, so now we're gonna look for intervals where it's, the acceleration is leftward, so where the dots are further apart on the left side of the strip than the right. So that's going to be D and H. In both of these cases, the acceleration is pointing to the left. Now, for this one, we're going to look at this projectile. And basically, this, these are the velocity vectors. At what point are there no forces acting on the object? It's undergoing free fall, so there's always going to be acceleration due to gravity pointing straight down. You remember the free body diagram for an object in free fall is this. We are ignoring air resistance. So at what point are there no forces? None. At what point are the forces balanced? None. The forces are never balanced. <coughs> it's always got this negative 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration. At what point is there a net force acting on the object? Okay, it's all of them. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. At what point is the net force acting to the right? None. The net force is always acting straight down. And 43, what point is the net force acting upward? Net. The net force is always straight down on a projectile.